Hey there, everyone! This is Al Cow playing Tadble Treble. Last time, we've pretty much, like, completed the game. All medals are been had. So what? What? We're still completion rate? 96%. Time for us to play through the entire game. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Is it an extras? Concerto! There we go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 single live marathon of all 12 of the game stages. So, uh, here we go. I don't know how- I mean, I'm reasonably sure that this should go okay. Um, I've went through every levels multiple times at this point, and, I, like, to repeat myself disgustingly, I've, uh, you know, during my, my dry run of, of the game, like, my first shot through, I, uh, I didn't die unless I didn't know how to beat the, the boss. So things should be okay if things do end up not being okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but, uh, we're gonna do it. Oh, whoops, I missed those. But yeah, so like, I don't need to be worried about anything. It's like, I'm just getting score and bubbles because it's fun and more often than not, like, stuff is just like in your way anyways. Like, they're where you want to be regardless. They're positioned there to help you figure out where you want to go and also where it's safe. Uh, whoops, well, you know what? That is fine. Largodile! It's like a long, it's also a crocodile. You can see them at the mall. Man, I'm so used now to just following hurt zones like that. I got a different ways mom and dad are hopping in the back. Oh my gosh, it's all my brothers and sisters. But they're like hovering there instead of doing things. What a fool. So I am using my regular graphics. I'm not all bit mode here. Right, that croc head, there's another one. Whoops, well I missed that bubble by accident. That's gonna happen sometimes. I can do that all day long if I want. It doesn't do anything. It makes a clap sound. That missed the health, but I don't need it. I guess I could treble charge uh, if I ever feel in danger. Oh, treble charge. I so misunderstood you. It's kind of ridiculous. Man, the further you go in a game, the less you gotta clap at stuff. And that's too bad, it's like probably one of my favorite verbs in this game. Look at these bubbles, and like in World 1. Oh yeah, like World 1, pretty easy to survive. But like, one of the hardest ones to like, do things in. It's a- I, uh, that's something you see a lot in games, and I respect that. It's just that sometimes it creates expectations for the rest of the game that just turn out, go, like, turn, just, just turn up to be turn, and just turn, turn, turn. Turning everywhere, like an evil wheel. Uh, going between a bird's legs, yeah! It's the only way to live. You don't need to tap the sign, but it's fun. Oh no, I got eaten. So, alright, so we just... Rank X! Oh, you smell like detergent, Baton. That's what we love about you. And then load it and on to the next. Choo! It's Trout Zone! Look how afraid Baton is, but she got over it. Trout to berry. It's full of trouts! Yeah, that's right, here we go down the river foreground object that looks kind of jaggedy in the recording. Looks a lot smoother in real life, I don't know how to fix that, but we're at the end of the project, or almost that. Yeah! That's right, the symbol will pop you underground. We'd go above like normally, but I don't know. I'm gonna wiggle that plant. Yeah, it goes blah blah blah. blah. That's the sound we wanna see. That's right, once again. These flowers are growing backwards. Those bees are gonna have a lot of trouble pollinating these. Well, maybe they're not necessarily flowers, though. I don't know. If you want health, you go above here. Oh no, a fish is behind me. What am I going to do about it? Cry? Yeah, maybe. But my tears will not really happen uh, underwater. If you want to know, I doubt that underwater enemies 
I need all tear ducks. I mean, there's a lot of like above ground enemies that don't have tear ducks. Or we gotta get the gold so we get a fly to appear. That's the reason why we're all doing all this after all. Uh, we're gonna win a, f uh, a, a fly at the end. The only fly I'm left with. The Maestro Fly. There we go. Uh, this level is so slow compared to what I'm used to. Like, you do something similar in Piranha Jungle. But they don't make you move as much, though, now when I think about it. But it's just that tap, tap, tap. It's just so fun to do. You know what? Let's get strong. Yeah! Destroy these! I have no reason to have done this. Other than a taste for rocky destruction. Alright, now I'm flashing. Everything's back to normal. Thank you, bear! That, 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 that fish was just taking up all on the screen. Really rude. The music kind of changes genre here for a hot second. Got some sweet flute. Flute is pretty rad, but you just don't you get a lot of it in pop music. Yeah! Look at that eyeball! It's like, whoa, I'm the mysterious bean that lives underneath the river. It's not really a river. Like, consider the size of a tadpole. I mean, there are trout in it, but yeah, like, the trout is about as big as the thing. So yeah, that kind of gives you an idea. Yeah! I couldn't help but get a hundred bubbles! But it's only worth X. X for you! That statement doesn't make any sense. It doesn't mean anything, but it is what I've said. Turtle pie! This guy's a boss, apparently! But he's so passive. He's just there. Like, he's just enjoying himself in the... in the very rusty sewer pipe here. Do not get infected. Well, you're covered in scales. So, you know, it's a lot less dangerous than, like, for, like, a skin-based uh, creature. You know? These scales entirely replace the skin. That's how it works. Alright, I'm gonna go down and get that bubble. Oh, this level's so slow. I don't know if it's because it's derelict that is particularly fast, but... Ugh. Everything takes forever to crawl on forward. Oh man, how am I gonna dodge these numbers? Very easily, it turns out. Alright, I'm gonna go up here, then I'm gonna go down here. Whoops, I hid that. That's right. I'm not impervious to clams. Clams will forever bring me pain. Sometimes, if they throw pearls, especially. Wonder if, like, your health carries over. Like, let's say I end this level with, like, missing two damage. Does that get healed? I don't know. Look at that, I got all this magic smoke behind me. The most powerful tadpole you'll ever see. That's true. Like, that is just genuine. It's the most powerful tadpole I've ever seen. Like, even fictional tadpole. I don't know. Normally, not an animal granted a lot of power in fiction. I, I, I don't know why. I'm sure they have their reason. I don't know who they is in this sentence. Yeah, above. See, this is kind of neat, but whoops! Wow, I messed that one up. Not gonna get all the bubbles. Turns out you have to be in certain mode with all bubbles. That would be ridiculous. And I feel like if that was the case, I would have been warned. All right, well, we'll see. I'm listening to health. Let's see what happens. Rank X. It's like if you put that K and just kind of like gave it a real bad back because, you know, just give an office job for a few years and there you go. Turns to an oh, no, I'm healed up. I'm not even made of bits. I'm regular here on my voyage through time and space. Weird sound that goes brr brr brr. That's accurate. Here we go. Bop bop bop. Boink. Bop bop bop. That's what we do. So I've got a, um, a video game. No, well, yes, but I mean, I got uh, an achievement for getting all the S, all the F, all the flies, but I did not get one for the bubbles, right? So I'm thinking that whatever it is that what I'm doing here will unlock, which I suppose is King Triton of the Deep related, might have like no score component, but it might have, like, bubbles involved. So I'm just kind of preparing myself for the inevitability of land. Go up into the thing and then raise a plan. Boink, boink, pop. 
This place is neat. This is a really well constructed level. There's like a lot going on. Then here you got this like feel of death if you're into F's. Bird! Bonk. Bonk. I guess I'm saying up here seems like a bad idea. Now we go to a lower level where there's bubbles that I can get that will give me score, but there I missed out. Pop. Yeah, it takes a little bit until you learn that. You want to be popping these symbols early. Way earlier. Well, okay. I don't think you need to pop them earlier, but the reality is that uh, they're a lot more lenient if you're too early than if you are too late. So, you know, you adjust accordingly. I miss some of those reads. There's no defending against that. Uh, that's just the reality of that. You know what? Let's get huge! Yeah! 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 Here we go, that was probably not the best use of a popper, but that's fine! I'm in the sky! Uh. It's raining now! The hills are sad, and I don't know why. I couldn't ask, I missed a bubble, and that's quite a tragedy. Birds in the back, but table in the front. That's how we value our fashion here. Pop. I'm gonna go down pop. Yeah, miss those. That's pretty embarrassing, but it's fine. Look at that staircase. How are you gonna go up that staircase? Uh, like that! I love how you do see what your score would have been. So if you know what the score thresholds are, you can see where you would have gone. You know, that's pretty rad. Cool rad. Uh, Wargulag night play an egg. It's the midnight by you. Midnight by me. Alright, it's the Sonata level. Let's see, it's a joke on Sinatra. Hi. Yeah, how I'm like less than a year, less than day old. No, like there must be like an abstraction of time happening because my voice is cracked there for one thing, but also. Like, at the end of the game, uh, Baton grows legs. Uh, I'm pretty sure that takes, like, a few days. But at the same time, you know... There's a lot of fantastical elements to this game. So don't try to be too realistic. Like, urchins have, like, eyes, for one thing. Like, there's mosquitoes. You know, yeah, they go bui when you hit them, when in reality they go splat. Like, there's a bit of a difference there. It's subtle, though. Snap, snap, snap. With slap more than snap. Snap just sounds better when you say it like that. I don't know. Slap. Ah, this, the, I think it's the end with AP. That, that's real fun. Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes I can just go uh, you know. H U N H. I don't know. It's not. Yeah, look at that. We were timed together. The crayfish and me. A flat Tony. Okay. Flat Tony. We don't mess around with that guy. All oh, these eggs! Is there zo eggs? Probably. Snap, snap. No, not. I can snap too. Alright. Let's make joke between the concepts of Florence and buying a pig for the purpose of eating it. I put it, put that whoop and I, I just kind of like bounced up into it there. Well, now I'm getting an S here. Get out of here, fly! Give me 200 points. Oh, there they make a heart. Did you hire them to do that? It's a bit corny, Sonata, like, let's be honest. Like, you're trying to look all cool here and whatnot, but I don't know if you get it. Alright, underground! Look at that guy. Whoa, he tried to chop me! That's pretty rude. To be fair, it looked kind of like I wanted to be left alone, and I did intrude myself. Whoa, you just destroyed that fruit for no reason. That's pretty cool, I guess. I guess. Yeah. Needless destruction of fruit. If you're wanting to court me, that's the way to go. Alright, bop, bop, bop. Here we go. Destroy all... Why not destroying anything? I just light them up. These bioluminescent mushrooms. All of these axolotl look like... So annoyed. None of them want to be here. Well, it's because Sonata say, keeps saying, and they're trying to have a, like, a nice snap. Well, instead, they're having a nice snap. Alright, hey, bug! Hit everything! Bug! Yo! Bug! So many bugs, but this one, you go down to get the one bubble, that's right. The most important one of the world. Ah, oh, there's frogs here, they're gonna eat all the flies, the mosquitoes. It's fine. 
All right, you do that. I'm just gonna keep going through the slog and forget you're there. How about that? I'm gonna like eat this heart so you don't think about it. Ah, there you go. Now it's a winky face. That's uh, that's worse. Making it a winky face is worse. Do you think my score is accum- uh, Yeah, my score has to be accumulating. There is no way. Maybe it says X because it doesn't know. Maybe. All right, so, I mean, here, Barracuda Zone, you can die here if you're not careful. So, we'll see. Oh, wow, my streak has been just kind of keeping, keeping on, too, I just noticed. Like, I, like, my multi is not, no, my string is just a note. No, ow cow. You're confusing things. It's fine. It's gonna happen. Da -da. Da, 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 da. That's right, then you do a big old dive. That barracuda has a scar. It's the shape of a spoon, like you just ran into a spoon or something. Someone tried to eat a, a soup of barracuda, and perhaps the barracuda was still a bit too fresh. I mean, I'm not gonna judge. I, I don't know why I would judge. It's not the kind of thing you judge about. I did not hit the thing, so now I'm trapped in here. I don't even. What are these wood things? I mean, they're skeletons and stuff. Like, I think it might be like part of a boat. I don't know. Whoa, check it out, comply. Yeah, here. Go, light flash. Not totally a bother to the old die ball. I know it's fine though. I could treble and make this a lot easier and get me extra score. Could. Will I? Uh, maybe I could so I don't have to think about him anymore. But like not thinking about him anymore just means go in the top row. Like it's it's once you know he's there, this guy will get you. You know when he surprises you, but beyond that, he's he's not a very dangerous threat. This is the reality. Like Barracuda's hunting strategy kind of depend on the fact that whoever he bites will just die, so it doesn't matter if they figure out his strategy. It's just that you know I respawn, unlike most animals. All right, I wanna. Here we go. He's stressing me out there on the side, so I'm gonna do that. Ba, 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 ba. All right, here we go. It's time to get to the good part of the song. Da, na, na, da. Snap! Da, 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 na, 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 na. Snap! Uh, I kind of got into trouble there, but there's health right here, so it doesn't matter. Yeah! Here we go. Where you guys come from? I don't know. Doesn't matter to me though. Oh, oh. Da, 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 da. I'm not getting one of those. But that fish is freaking out. I just smashed my face right into that thing. I didn't even need to. Now you will starve! Right here in this chest. Uh, we consider this a good story. No, yeah, no, yeah. My score is definitely just adding up. Imagine finishing this level normally and getting 600k. Like, that just doesn't happen. Snowtown in Venice. Here we go. Yeah. If you put a town pool on snow, I don't know how uncomfortable they would be. Like, I just don't know if they're good at detecting heat or cold or like absence of heat. I never really was quite sure about this. I mean, like, you see, like, ducks run out of the barn, sits full of snow, and run back in. So they're clearly aware, but like, like you know, I'm a, I've been a long time cat owner through a lot of my life. I've had house cat go outside in the snow and like kind of stay in there, like stay in that snow and walk around in it. It didn't seem to bother them too much. What am I doing? Flying two things, just going in there, not even trying to dodge that much. I'm just not feeling the threat. This is a reality. You know, this is like hyper casual motor. Oh yeah, remember when they hit health down there? Uh, I didn't get it. And score! Hey, watch out, the snow was cold. Don't go in the snowy horizon. See, you got like a little green above me. Whoa, gotta hit that reed, so watch out about the skull. Do you even have a skull? 
can't pull out bones, right? If you have to, whoop an eye. Yeah, I went too high there. It happens. It's fine. Yeah, it's all good. Whoop, there we go. Yeah. Up here all around. Hey, fish. You're just dealing with the cold like a champ. Is this where it starts to like have rising steam from the crystals? Gonna dodge this health for the fly. That is a pretty good idea. Yeah, look at me. I'm here now. Da -da -da. The music is changing a little bit. That's because every level has three minutes of music. So, you know, it will evolve through time. Here we go. Hit those beats. Whoops. See, look how early I was. And the game was like, ah, that counts. Yeah, you want to be early over being late. Here you want to slip in here if you want those bubbles. Then you can go up here right now. Oh no, it's a big fish, but big steam attack. That fish is dead now. We find it funny because it's not us, essentially, or someone we know. See, look, this flashing star up there. Oh, it could just be an Aurora Borealis on this. Yeah, the sky is pretty rainbowy. See, I always interpret that as being like Team Rocket rocking off again because of its that fish. But it's just kind of keep on flying. All right, this is the one because it moves pretty fast. Kind of like kind of hurts the eyes in the recording. Sorry about that. It's also the one that moves backward, so it messes up my timing with everything. Sorry about that. So I never said this in video. I wrote about it in the description, but in case you never read these, but watch this. So playing this game, I've kind of trained myself to be constantly looking at the very right edge of the screen, you know, to kind of see where things are, go are gonna happen. Like, I think that makes sense, right? For this level, I am never, I have never been able to adapt to looking more towards the left. So I'm kind of like playing half blind all the time because like things just kind of pop up suddenly in my existence. Oh shoot, I don't know why I did that, but I sure did. Not really punished. Yeah, going up here for no reason. I say that, but now I have the experience to know that the no reason is the multiplier. Like, that's the reason why you want to do anything. Look at that guy, just drinking away. They're so cute, though. I love these, these badgers. Badgers are not an animal we think about often. That's just true. Badger for you. That's right. Order now and get a free badger delivered to you every month. Uh, sounds like a terrible service. Why would you do with a monthly badger? Like, you know, getting one as a novelty and then realizing that wild, undomesticated animals make terrible pets. Like, but like... You only need one to learn this. Oh, whoops, I think I was too late, yeah. I, I know I can hit it. And be free and fly across the world. But my tongue was banned. There's just no other words for it. Yeah, see? Gotta be early, I don't know. I feel, I don't know. Throughout the game, I don't think I've ever really got a sense of where my slap hitbox is. Like, I would believe you if it told me it was centered on me, but like, I just, I'm not sure. Hey, this one gave me so much trouble. I must have internalized the timing, like, like, that's the reality. It's like, I got a lot gooder, better, more proficient at this game as I start to do all the challenges. Yeah, considering a lot of them basically boils down to master this aspect of the level. Then master this other one. Now, of course, playing a marathon uh, isn't a good uh, indicator of such mastery. Because, you know, it's an endurance thing. You're not gonna, like, hyper-focus on doing very dangerous, very precise things. Like, if you, there was a lot of level, if you were to ask me right now, right now, right here, right now, it's like, do another bubble run. I cannot guarantee you anything. I cannot guarantee you that I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. it some levels are still gonna take me a few tries. It's not like... Just beating 
well, okay, so if you read reviews and stuff, you'll notice that for some people, even just beating the game is not the easiest thing in the world. So in some aspects, I might have made the game look a little bit easier than it is. But like going to the challenges and whatnot, and like it is not a question. Uh, this is not. This is not. Uh, there are challenges involved, even as you play as a cute little tadpole in the wild and wacky element. Destroy the world with your nostrils as much as you can. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. I'm starting to flash. That means that it's wearing out. Yeah. Slap. Slap! And then I'm gonna move right up. Right here. Slap. Slap. Oh, the beat here is so good. This is like the most satisfying rhythm to interact with me pressing spacebar to. I don't know. Like, uh, uh, probably the wrong place. I don't know. But we're gonna add some sax. These are not shrimps, but they're spiders. They made a big old bubble that let them do some diving with their web. That is pretty wild. I love that as soon as nature gave one particular type of animal the ability to like create stuff out of its own DNA, aka spider silk, then evolution just goes like completely nuts. And make them, like, create just the wildest variety of, like, absolute incredible creations. I don't know. I think that is super neat. Snap, 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 snap. Yeah, I could have... I survived that? Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure that I get the fruits. Like, that's something that can insta-kill me. People have asked if going into treble charge mode would it protect you from the fish trying to eat you at the end of the level if you don't get all the pears. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit curious. I'm gonna super not lie. This is not the time and space to test this out. Wow, well, yeah, destroy the world. It's what is fun about being in the swamps and having a uh, oh, oh, come out yeah, and then I get hit in an avoidable way. Yeah, yeah, there's an arrow on that pair and it's really stripy. I forget, are you supposed to eat stripy fruit? Are there fruit that have stripes? Like, most of the, like, stuff out there that has, like, stripes are, like, animals and, like, maybe some fungus? Anyways, I'm leaving a trail of pears just in case, you know, they get more hungry. So they'll remind... They'll remember me as a hero and not as prey that ran away. Maybe I'll be a frog that's big enough to eat them later. Oh, Thunder Creek! Hey, me. I have. Tough scrapes, huh? I love those. Oh, that was early. Thunder Creek. That's a snail buddy up there. Cowpoke. Cowpoke. Still hanging around. Gonna poke a cow. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. At don't least poke you'll be me. able to enjoy one last song, courtesy of my snail amigo. Adios, muchacha. It's muchacha, I'm a girl. Let me tell you about a little place. It's very first thing, the first level. It's Mom is like, no, girl. Something, I forgot the exact phrasing. Isn't it great that one of the... Kickstarter backer prizes for this game is an opportunity to sing uh, uh, Thunder Creek. Like, that's what is, remember in the, in the ending of the game, when there's like a whole chorus of people singing the song? Yeah, those are Kickstarter barkers. I had that confirmed by one of them. Uh, the very same person that is the one who requested this game to be played, actually. And I just think that's so, so funny. I feel like they knew. Bitfinity knew. I wonder at what part of development Thunder Creek happened. Like, was that, like, early when they were planning for the game? Late? Actually, that is a valid question. Like, were the songs came first and then they came the game? Or, like, we're, ah, we're gonna make this game. Alright, we're gonna make now a bunch of songs for it. I feel like the most likely answer to this is that it's a mixture of both. 
you know, you develop the game, and as it's making you work with, like, different music genres and whatnot, that's the reality, though. Like, maybe they had a few ideas of songs to use for this. They started making the game, and then they realized that they have, like, different things they want to uh, experiment with. Like, music that maybe have a bit more staccato, music that have more, like, note variation, slower songs and how that impacts the gameplay, faster song, density of notes, you know, all that. Like, things you might not necessarily think about, because the, the soundtrack is extremely varied and uh, extremely good, considering the variety. Thunder Creek. Oh, no, not its peak. Thunder Peak. Yeah! These are so... Okay, remember, bones hurt. But if you slap, then you'll be fine. Uh-oh, I'm going to get hurt. You gotta hit them where there's a big circle. Of course, dude. I love Sanctums. Go! Yeah! Almost done, sadly. I know hi, it's a... Whoops! I'm a stop! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. But, oh boy. That... Imagine how I died there. It could have happened. There's a world where I died there. <laughs> I just... Yeah, a million! That too getting right out of the score rectangle. I wonder if it's programmed to, like, acclimatate, like, larger numbers. Maybe. Probably. Solid water key. Yeah. Health is back. Now we're gonna be sniffling. Sniffling, snaffling. I can do that all day long. Alright, so we have a completely different vibe of a level. You gotta survive. So you gotta... Oh, oh, whoops. Like, see, I could've done a way better job getting up and getting that help, because that's gonna be real relevant. Like, it's an interesting thing this level gets. Like, the game, throughout the whole game, it's all about, like, you're running after power-ups. But, you know, they're kind of abstract power-ups, they're, you know, they're the bubble, and they're the score bubble, like, you know, like, it's, it's whatever. In this level, you apply what you've learned about, you know, aiming for pink stuff in the water, except this time it's there to keep you alive. I think it's smart. It's a clever way of expanding on, like, the main stuff you do in this place. Without, like, being, like, super, like, outright saying it, like, it's being subtle about it, too. Like, that's what makes it good. But yeah, you never get a triple charge because you're, you're sneezing all the time. Coughing! Some people think it sounds more like coughing. I don't know, it's the specific sounds make. you <laughs> That's, that's, that's not me. That's Adbird. Uh, I just got hurt like a dumb there. But it doesn't matter. Cough going up there. I mean, if you play your cards right, you spend a lot of this level- Whoop! I don't know why I pressed down there and the game did not punish me. Yeah, that's what I want. Alright, I got hurt like a dumb there. Alright, we're gonna go in the air here. Ha! Huh, yeah, give me some sky health. Look at Adbird over there, looking all around. Nah, he doesn't look, 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 look like they're having a good time. I never noticed, like, the giant nest there. Turns out that... In this level in particular, I just don't really have a time to look at much of anything ever. <laughs> now I wonder. I, I just like, again, I wonder if you don't fight what happens. But what if it does just swallow you? Like, I don't, I don't, this is not the time to get swallowed. There's a time and space for that, and it's not salt water zone. I forgot any of the level. It's okay. Yeah, pop. Music change slightly. We got music going in your ears. Both of them may be. The rocks are so austere. They're also purple, but that's just the light. We don't got a lot of sun. See, you got Thunder Creek where it was a thunderstorm, but it wasn't rain yet. Here, we hit, it's because the rain was stuck here. There I'm pressing the button, and it's like. Mouth bag is kind of having a shake. See, I tried to triple charge there and I got interrupted by the cough. Coughing interrupts your lungs. So if you're trying to do something lung related and you cough, it's just gone. Your lungs get completely destroyed and you gotta grow a new set, which typically doesn't take all that long though. It's so like it's not life threatening or anything, but can get in the way you know, of your activities, such as. Doing a lung operation, you know that—that's just a bother. 
Res be responsible for your own lungs. You know, just handling a fresh pear in your cough and they disappear from your hands. Like, that just can get really costly. If you wonder why the hospitals have to charge so much, well, let me elude that mystery. Yeah, we're back near the coast, so the water's good again. I got a hundred bubbles, that means I get the hundred bubble bop. Alright, sunken derelict. If I'm gonna die, it's probably gonna be here. I'm gonna try very hard not to die. I haven't been playing this level the past few days, so it is the freshest in my mind. So, it should be fine. I, I just don't want to cash any checks that I can't check the cash out. That's logic, really. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, we are definitely doing this in speed mode. Yeah, standing ground for ground. I love the ground. Alright, it's Sawblade. All I want to do is interact with an egg. Slap that egg. Slap, slap, slap. See, this is where I feel like I'm in actual danger. It's here. It's this part of the level. He has a saw blade. There's not a lot of health in this water. In the sunken remains of a Boeing passenger ship. Alright, it's gonna be a little bit until the next guy. So he's gotta live, he's gotta survive. Watch out for the petrol. Watch out for all the rocks. There are the notes of the environment and around me. Yeah, that saw is just sawing away underwater. No problem here. I missed that bubble. Now I'm gonna cry. Now you're gonna die. That's why I'm gonna cry. It's very tragic. Yeah, here we go. So that was the hard part. This part, I'm significantly less worried about because there's just so little you're actually dodging. Like, it's so weird because, like, it took me a while to kind of get. But once you get it. Like, I, I still think, I still wonder if it's on purpose that you can just kind of park yourself right up there and just, like, dodge stuff occasionally. Like, it doesn't seem like that would be what, what they'd want you to do. Like, you'd think they'd want you to dodge around, but... Oh, I don't know if I just spoke too much, but... Oh! My throat just had a moment of rebellion. <laughs> I don't know how else to define it. Because, like, to fight this boss, you need to be hanging out at the very top of the screen. Like, the boss design encourages you strongly to hang out at the top of the screen regardless. So it's like it's guiding towards finding this exploit. So it can't be an exploit. It has to be on design. But then it's like, I just, I don't know. It's just so weird to me. By the way, I did it! Whoops, I, I, I had enough cough to take two damage. Ma, my Toso Marathon! My Toso, is that a thing? I mean, maybe, probably. Whoa! Well, thank you. Yeah! <laughs> I totally destroyed it! Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so what does that mean? Let's just open 99%. We're not at 100 yet. One last percent. Okay, maybe I need to see it, Sid. I'll do that. You can pay him a visit. Yeah, hey, I got all your flies. Guy. Rup, 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 rup! <laughs> <laughs> rub, 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 rub! <laughs> hey, no problem, buddy. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was be a bit of quid pro quo. I thought it was implied. Uh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you showed up to tell me well done. I thought we had a thing together. Ooh, behind the island. Erratic weather, huh? Duncan's Inlet. Who's Duncan? Oh, jeez. A bone of certain doom is my reward for dooming an entire subspecies of flies. Uh... Oh, that question mark. Yeah. Yeah, then he 
just burps in my face. Just class acts. That's it. Uh. Oh, look at that! Purple zone. It's me. Purple warp. Oh, right here. I don't want to press a button. Like, I, I press the button to see if the menu says anything, but it might just make you start a thing, and that's gonna be tomorrow. Well, one last level. I don't know what to expect. It feels like, by definition, kind of has to be, like, an unstandard format, but hey, we'll be seeing that. <laughs>